DIY detritus mover, if that's what you want to call it. But uh, we're going to go ahead and build that thing now. Greetings everybody, this is Paul the Inventory King. If you guys could punch the subscribe button and click that notification bell, I'd be honored for you guys to join me on my channel and get notifications on when I upload a video. So today, we are in the fish room, and what we are gonna be doing in the fish room is we are going to build an inexpensive, DIY, cheap, whatever you wanna call it, we are gonna build a handle that is going to remove the detritus from the tank like a python except much cheaper and your hands don't go in the water that's the key to this build now i am not sure if you guys are like me or not but i have very sensitive hands and my hands crack like crazy if i get my hands in tank water for too long uh, and cleaning filters and this and that my hands will just crack and split and it is not comfortable here's an example if you can see that right there it's already healing but imagine your entire hand full of those. Very painful, not fun at all. So I was thinking, what can I do to make this easier for myself? What can I do to uh, be able to clean the tanks, clean all the detritus out without getting my hands in there and it's not gonna cost a lot of money? Lo and behold, I got an idea. Okay, so we need to go ahead and head on over to Ace Hardware so that we can go ahead and pick up the uh, items that we need in order to build this little project. All right, we made it. Let's go in and get the material. All right, so here's what we need. We need a 90 degree elbow that's threaded half inch uh, to slip half inch. We need one of those. We need one of these hose swivel adapters. We need a reducing bushing that goes from half inch threaded to three quarters and a 45 degree elbow. Some half inch PVC. We are back and we are ready to build this DIY detritus mover, if that's what you want to call it. But uh, we're going to go ahead and build that thing now. We're back. And this is a very simple, simple design. Um, now, if you're going to go to your Home Depot or Lowe's uh, big store, you're going to get this, uh, these items for a lot less money. Uh, but I spent, um, we'll go over that later. Okay, so here is what we got. and can't forget the actual pipe. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna build a very simple um, extension that you can use for like a python or anything that has a suction on it. So this is not gonna be anything precise. It doesn't have to be perfect. So, I, but I do wanna try to have something that's gonna be like a handle size. So we'll go, we'll go about here on this one. So I went half inch just because it's smaller, a lot less work for it to pull the water up. We got the paper towel and this is going to be to just glue everything together to not get it on my little stand here. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with this piece. Again, this is nothing special. You don't have to measure. Just build it to the size you want it to be and we'll start off with that. So we need to uh, prime the PVC. And we need to go ahead and let's go ahead and prime this one. And while it's here, let's prime this one too. Okay, so we got those primed. Now we need to go ahead and get the glue opened up. And go from there. Now, because this is not, I'm going to be under a lot of pressure, you don't have to do a lot. Just a little bit will be sufficient enough. Um, we'll go ahead and do this one. Okay, that's going to be good enough. Whoops, let's wipe that off. Push in and twist. Hold it for about 10 seconds. Good enough. 
And uh, if you want, you can have some extra towels and then just wipe off this excess here um, if you're wanting it to look, look perfect. In this case, it doesn't have to look perfect for me. Next is going to be, we need to get this 45 degree angle on. So we need to get that set. We need to go ahead and get some more glue. We need to get some glue in here. And a little bit there. Ah, kind of, kind of a little too much, but that's okay. And 45 degree should be about there. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this off. Yeah, look at that mess. Whatever, it's all gonna be good. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to go ahead and connect this. I'm gonna get some pipe thread. All right, so let's go ahead and we're gonna thread, gonna thread this guy. go. Now we're going to go ahead and connect these. That ain't going to go anywhere and it ain't going to leak. So we got the first part done. Little crooked, but that is okay. It doesn't matter. Now we need to connect these up. So we're gonna go ahead and again prime this, prime the inside of this, get some glue. There's that. And let's go ahead and get a little bit in there. Whoops. Ten seconds. Okay, we're almost done. Go ahead and wipe this off. Boy, this is uh, <laughs> this is kind of sloppy. But again, who cares? It's for it's for the fish room. It's to make my life easier. So we're gonna go ahead and um, plus it's hot, so the glue is real, real liquidy. Okay, so now we need to go ahead and prime the inside of this and decide how big we want this thing to be. Um, so again, my whole point is to be able to work without having my hands in the aquarium. So we know that, say this tank over here, I would say about here is gonna be good, right around here. Um, just so, my hands aren't going to go into the tank. So we're going to cut that. We're going to go ahead and prime this end. Yeah, this glue is just so liquidy because of because it's hot, so it's easy for it to be messy. Okay, there's that. There's that. Connect like so, twist to help it bond. Count to about 10, give or take, and wipe it down. Close the glue up. Close the primer up. And now we need to let this sit for just a little bit um, and cure. Uh, with it being the Fast, uh, the Red Hot Blue Glue by Christie's, it dries and uh, cures really quick, so it's not gonna take long, especially in this heat. Be back at ya. So the total cost was $7.25 from my local hardware store. If you're gonna go to a big box store, you're most likely gonna be able to build this thing for under $5. Being a local hardware store, they charge more. So again, if you're near a big box store, you're gonna save a good amount of money, probably five bucks or less, if not, it was under eight for me. All right, so here we go. We're gonna go ahead and hook up the, uh, the Python to this uh, attachment here. 
if I could get it to line up. There we go. Okay, so now there's definitely a suction. You can hear it. And what we're going to do is this is going to be the handle to go into the tank so my hands do not have to go in there anymore. And we see water going through the hose. It's working. So now I can just hold it down here and move around. So we're going to go ahead and try the next example here on this tank because with it not having any sand and the detritus is right there on the bottom, it's going to work perfectly. Okay, so on this tank I went and I took the lid off so that I can go ahead and use this to its full potential. Let's go ahead and we're going to move this rock back. So you can even use it to push stuff out of the way. Alright, here's some detritus down over here. Some other detritus, there's some more. Now again, the best part, I'm going to go ahead and show you. My hand is not in the water. I am at the bottom and my hand is not in the water. This is going to save my hands from cracking like crazy. I'm going to say this is a pretty cool idea. Um, it worked really well. You know, I got in the tank, my hand wasn't in there and I was able to clean out the detritus. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Do you guys think that this was worth the couple of bucks to build versus spending money on a Python, which is going to cost some cash? Especially when you need to buy the bigger one to reach down into these deep tanks. So there is that to consider. Definitely that to consider. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Again, if you guys can punch that subscribe button and click on that notification bell, I'd be honored to have you guys join me on my channel and check out my fish keeping adventures. Again, you guys are awesome. All the thanks goes to you. If you can like the video, share the video, subscribe and click the notification bell. You are all awesome. Thanks a lot, everybody, and stay tanked.